guys welcome back to the channel and today it's diy time on the rivian r1t all righty so we've got the rivian up on the lift i think i probably could have done a better job but this is pretty wide um so we are going to put ev based running boards on the R1T. I've got the box right here. For some reason two got sent to me. I'm sending that one back to them, but this is the one we're using right here. And we're going to be put them on, on, putting them on the passenger and the driver's side. So what I'm doing now is I'm raising the truck up as high as it'll go on the lift, you know, as far as an off-road mode. We're going to raise up the truck and then just enough to where I can work standing up to get the to get them on there. I think that'll be better for shots and everything else. So let me get the box, let me get it here, and let me unbox it. All right, everything's unboxed with the magic of YouTube. I've got both the drivers, the passenger, and then the instructions, bolts, um, sockets. There's a few things in there, we'll go over them. And then the brackets that go up underneath the car. Now I've heard that the drivers or one of the drivers go on the passenger and one of the passengers go on the drivers. From some of the videos I've seen, I'm not sure, but we'll take a look and see. But we're gonna get started on the driver or the passenger side. So you got a bolt here and a bolt here. And I think those are tens. And then you've got a little Torx there. This one has nothing, so it just pops off and we use the panel tool. And then the same over here, little Torx. Um, well, let's see. Nope, just a, a regular 10 here and that's it. Then I think it just kind of pops down as you can see, just like that. So we'll get started. There we go. So we'll get started. And then of course, let's see. Yeah. So of course, just be real careful. We'll go over everything when I take it off to show you and and we'll go from there. So let me get the panels off here on the bottom. All right, guys, I've got the panels off. I just got them sitting under my lip, my lift. And then, so we've got this completely apart. Now, a lot of people say that you can take these and cut to where it'll still go back on. And I might, I might do that. I'm not sure. We'll just see. I want to get them on first and see what they look like. And then I might do that just to dress everything up but we'll, we'll see. Um, so now I got to just figure out which, where I've got to unscrew these and get, and get the right ones unbolted. Then we'll get the proper brackets up and then we'll take the running board here and put it here. All right. So let me figure out which ones to take off. All right. I've got the brackets on. Now I'm going to try this, but I think the passenger has to have one, the driver's side here and in the center, if you look at the instructions, and then a passenger side in the in the rear. So this is the rear, center, front, and I'll come back here so you can see we're working on the passenger side of the car, truck. So I've got them in there just loose right now because I'm not quite sure. So now I'm gonna take the running board and get it and set it on top and just kind of look at it and figure out where I need to be and then and then I can start bolting things down. But so far, pretty good, other than the instructions aren't the best. They're not the worst, but they're not the best, for sure. So I'm just trying to go by pictures, illustrations, and all that fun stuff. So, all right, let me get running board on and see what it looks like. All righty, I've got the running board just sitting here on it, but it looks really good. Of course, I'm gonna have to try to match up with maybe this piece here to here and then kind of, I'll, I'll do some measurements and just to make sure, but really it doesn't look too bad. Things, you know, the lift is up in the air right now and I've got the highest lift on the truck. So let me go ahead and secure them with this packet of bolts and all fun stuff and get that going. I'll get it kind of secured. I'll straighten it out a little bit and then we can come up underneath here and lock down these bolts and get those right once I have everything 
fully lined up. All right, I wanna kinda of show you guys how this works. So basically this is gonna come in on these channels here and then, and then of course the bolts will hang down and then it'll be a large flat washer, your lock washer, and then your bolt. So that's how it will go in there. As you can see, it'll, it'll go down, if I can get it right, go down like that. All right, so let me go ahead and get these on and then we'll get them locked in place a little bit and then see what it looks like. All right, guys, it is on. Solid, everything's locked in. I've got everything retorqued. What's really cool, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see the lines where Rivian had torqued them up. So I was able to match those on torquing, torquing them. And uh, yeah, so that's a good thing. So now I'll um, get started on that side, on the driver's side. All right, driver's side, as you can see. And these things are on, I got them in the right position. Um, again, I had to use one of the passenger sides over on the driver's side, two of the passenger sides on the driver's side and one on, and then one driver's side. So it's just flipped. Uh, for some reason, they just got them mislabeled, but they look good. So now we'll go ahead and get everything secure. I'll show it to you and then we will wrap up this video but you know on a DIY scale of one to ten this is probably a five maybe it's really not that difficult all right hang tight all right guys we are done this side's in I've got everything torqued back and this one is basically like right there so anyway it's all torqued I've got it locked down everything looks great um, can't complain. I think it turned out perfect. Um, I'm excited to get this thing on the ground so you can see it at a different angle. So let's do that and we'll wrap the DIY video up, but very simple to do. Um, great product from EV base so far that I've seen. Um, I might come back and put these plastic panels on there at some point. I'm not sure. We'll see, because um, I just don't like, I'd rather it be kind of covered up, to be honest with you, if I can do it. So let me, let me get this stuff, get all these tools cleaned up, and then we'll lower down the lift and see what it looks like. All right, guys, we have her sitting outside. We are done. I really, really love it. They are awesome. Um, I'm going to probably put the plastic panels back up underneath. You'll have to cut them a little bit, but I want to drive around for a little while and make sure that, you know, we're not hearing a lot of noise coming from them or what have you, but they look absolutely amazing. Let me walk over here to the passenger side. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. I'm pleased. It You know, DIY scale was probably a five- you know, one out of 10 scale, a five to put them on. Not a big deal. One person can do it. It's very simple. Bra brackets go on first, then that sits on top. So it's very simple to do. One, one person can do it. So I absolutely love them. I think they look great. We'll come back over here real quick. Yes, I am pleased with them. EV Base has done a very good job. I did not get the writing on it that said R1T. I just didn't, didn't care to have those. But, yeah, I think everything looks great. All right, guys, that's a wrap on this DIY project. Very simple. Scale of 1 to 10, 5 to get it done on the DIY scale. I think it's, it's a must on this truck and even the SUV as well, so the R1S. So, there you have it. I'll link... Um, EV base down below in the comments. So please go to them, check it out. And uh, we thank them for sponsoring the video. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell. It helps the YouTube algorithm and helps us to grow the channel, of course. And as always, till the next video, God bless.